Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to use the portrait uh, bouquet uh, feature in Luminar Neo. Uh, bouquet is where the background is, is blurry. A lot of people just call it blurry background. It's where the depth of field falls off in the background, so things in the background uh, blur and so it brings more uh, attention to the subject and you use it a lot in portraits and this uh, tool works really really well and uh, so we're going to start uh, with this photograph that I found on Pexels uh, which is a uh, website that provides free to use photographs and uh, this photograph here the backgrounds are already slightly blurry but I think uh, it's a really good photograph for demonstration purposes. I'm going to exaggerate uh, these effects so you probably wouldn't go as far as I'm going to go with the effects I'm going to show you, but it's just so you can see uh, what the uh, Portrait Boca tool can do and what, what it's doing. Uh, and uh, so you might have a background that's much more in focus than this that you can bring slightly out of focus or more out of focus. Or you might have a background that's already blurry and you want a little bit more blurry or with a little bit more uh, bouquet. So we're going to go to the uh, portrait bouquet tool down here and the nice thing about this tool is it creates a mask automatically it recognizes uh, what a person looks like so the f so we can go to this and the, f the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, go over here and change the amount and you can see it's blurred slightly and uh, when we go over when we hover over with the uh, brush here you can see uh, where the mask is it, it turns it red right here now it's a little hard to see because this car is red but we're picking up this um, handle, the store handle, has kind of become part of the things that aren't um, defocused. So we're going to fix that. So let's bring the focus all the way up or, or all the way down. So it's defocusing at the mo most. And you can see this hasn't quite defocused in there. So we're going to zoom into here. And we can use this brush and you can focus things or you can defocus things. And so we can adjust the size of the brush. We don't want it too big uh, for this. And we're going to go over where this handle is right here. And you can see we brought it out of, uh, out of focus now. So that's much uh, better. Let's zoom back out again. Now we can blur this background even more by going to depth correction. And so uh, if we if we go to the right, it actually makes it less uh, blurred in the background. But if we go all the way over to the right, you can see it's much more blurred. So if I hit this, and this is what the original photograph was like, and uh, this is what it's like with the blur that we've added. Uh, once again, you may not want to add this much blur to the background, uh, but this is just a demonstration. So we also have edge corrections down here. And what edge correction does, uh, if we just move it real quick, so if we can go to the left, or we can go to the right with this, and you can see the edges changing. Uh, so that can kind of just how tightly it goes around the edge of the subject as well uh, so uh, you can use this for uh, minor corrections and in this case I'm going to put it back to where it was because I think that's pretty good right there uh, so now the other thing we can do is we can all these controls down here are for the background so we can uh, control the brightness of the background so if we want it brighter I'm going to pull it all the way over to the right and you see it brightens it up a lot. Or if we want it darker, we pull it all the way over to the left. And so it darkens it. Uh, so if, once again, if we look at this, you can see it's not only putting it out of focus, but it's darkening it. 
And then finally, we have this feature, which I think is really nice. It's the warmth feature. So you can bring the background to blue to cool it down or to yellow to warm it up. So if we bring it all the way over to the uh, left here, you can see it makes the background much bluer. Now, she's wearing blue in this picture, so uh, probably going the other way to warm it up is going to kind of uh, separate the background in her a lot more than making it cool in this e example. So let's pull it up all the way to warm. And you can see it's much warmer. Once again, this is exaggerated. You probably want it more maybe around here or even a little less. But I'm going to bring it back up all the way to warm so that we can see uh, how much that we can change this. And so if we go back and look at the original photograph, this is the way it looks. And then with our changes, it looks like this. So it's changed it quite a bit. And uh, like I said, the masking on this particular effect works really well. It really finds the subject and masks it well. But you still have the brush where you can make uh, minor changes like we did with the door handle on the car so that that would go out of focus with the rest of the background. I'm Dean, and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.